Hi everyone. This is my art journaling for Poet Spice and the writing that will go with it. I'm going to have to remember to get out my paper to include the writing that I do. It's basically the same thing as are the words I say and I'm starting this one with I, I sprayed three all three of my alcohol sprays my homemade alcohol sprays and I'm starting with this light green a couple of days ago I'm behind on this and a couple of days ago I began to get very concerned about a situation that's been going on in my life where I have uh, been supporting some orphans and a couple of orphans in Uganda for them to go to school because they would otherwise not be able to afford to go to school. And so I wanted to go there and see them and be a part of their uh, a part of their lives for just a couple of weeks, two week, three weeks. I'll be there. And so I've been seeking my passport, my shots, getting all my shots to go to Africa. You can't just get on a plane and fly over there. There's all kinds of things that you must do in order to qualify to go to, um, as far as I, I know, anywhere in Africa. And that process all starts with the passport. And the passport is uh, the easy part, to be truthful. You fill out a form, you pay $100 or something, and you... A little water to blend and you get it back in the mail in, in a pretty short time. So then I began the process of getting my shots. You go to a place called Passport Health. They have all the shots that you need to go there. And then I started to apply for my visa. My visa was up until now has been an unending process of frustration. Red tape and frustration for the filling out online, getting a letter from their online process and getting the uh, visa in the mail, which I still have not done. I've done everything else and I'm still waiting to get this this visa in the mail. When I come across stuff like this in my life, I will take a dive and that's what I've done emotionally. I will just, my mood, everything my mood will just spiral down in a way that is really disabling to me. It's very, um, it's very frustrating to be in this downward spiral. It's a really depressing place to be and so these beautiful colors that I was beginning to feel, these feelings that I was loving, have spiraled down into this place of really kind of despair. And so everyone else is waiting on me. They're not going to stop their trip just because I haven't been able to get my visa processed. 
but they are going to have some kind of they are going to have some kind of reaction to me not being able to go because we've all been we've all been planning this together and talking to one another and especially the person who's organized it she is a super patient lady and here I am out here in the in the desert alone literally here in Phoenix Arizona dying on the vine because I can't I can't seem to get the system to work for me so I have been I have been spiraling down into this abyss for the past three days two to three days and I'm just I'm just in this really really dark place right now that I don't like to be here. No one does. No one likes to be sad and depressed. And I'm not going to stay here. I can promise you that. I've been here before. And this is not going to be um, where I stay. But in the art, I can process what happened, where it began and how I'm reacting to it. So that's what this painting is about. I am glad do I, that I talked today to a human being about my visa. I talked to a person that had it on her desk in Washington, D.C. for the Embassy of Uganda. And I am also really grateful that Port Spice is doing this, this challenge for 30 days of art journaling and writing because this is exactly what I'm going to be doing, is writing about this. This looks like uh, despair to me. I'll call it despair. And um, that's a real negative, negative um, sentiment. So what I need to do is work my way out of this, and that's what that's what I'm going to do. And to do that, I'm going to use the art. And I'm going to use the writing. And that has been successful for me before. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch this, I would uh, appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much if you would subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and a comment. Bye-bye.